Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a work from home professional lifted makeup look. Something that is fast, convenient and easy but yet put together for you guys to look nice and plump, lifted and professional at the same time. So it's gonna be a very very clean look. Now let's get started. Starting with skincare, you guys know that the trick to have any makeup look good is definitely the products that you apply before you start your makeup. So you need to have a nice plump hydrated base one that isn't too rich, that isn't too oily, that is just right for your skin type. So today I have here the Ole Regenerate Cell Science range which I super love and I've been raving about them on my Instagram the past few weeks. The entire packaging, the look and feel of this range is super luxurious. It's not like the ones that you get usually from Ole, it's just like glass. Packaging is like red with gold. Once you hold it, you can tell that it's very weighty. And not only that, the ingredients are also really, really potent. I do see great results with this range. And I just want to dive right into why I love them so much. I'm going to first start off with the Regenerate Cell Science Pre-Essence. Super lightweight and it's very fast absorbing. You guys know that I've got dry, sensitive skin but this one doesn't actually interfere with my skin. So the Olay Regenerate Cell Science is the only range that contains Olay's signature ingredient niacinamide which is vitamin B3 plus as well as its super peptide complex. It helps to lift, plump, heal your skin, promote cell regeneration as well. Like I said right, super fast absorbing. So now it's time for the essence. Don't want something that is too rich or too oily, especially with anti-aging skincare. A lot of the ones in the market are a little bit too rich for me. This entire range is also the only range that is made in Japan. Right down to the fragrance, it just smells very luxurious. I'm, I don't know how to put it, but you don't smell the artificial flavorings. Uh, it just smells very comfortable. Cream. You can see everything is so fast absorbing and it's very lightweight. I've been using this for more than a month already and I really see amazing results especially with the sculpting and the lifting. My skin also feels a lot more plump, a lot brighter and if you're looking for an anti-aging range to start, I do highly 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 recommend this range. So yes, this is the skincare. You don't get any sticky residue. It's just really nice and comfortable. Like I said, this is extremely different from all of the Ole products that I have used. It's super premium. I think this is a great, great addition to my skincare routine. You guys can find out where to get these in the description box below. I'm gonna leave it all there, so let's get started with the makeup. Oh, before that, sunscreen is super important. This is my sunscreen I'm using. I'm safe for baby and silver. It's from Santik. In between the products, you want to let your skin kind of absorb them for about like 30 seconds to 1 minute or longer if you can afford the time to. This will really help your makeup last longer and you actually don't need to go in with thick layers, just thin layers and that's where you get that very translucent, lit from within, plum skin look. Next up, primer. I'm using the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Just a tiny bit at the back of the hand. Just concentrating them on areas with pores, especially around the cheeks and my nose and forehead. So you notice I'm not applying on the entire face because I want that natural glow to peek through. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit, hitting the high points of the face. Now, I'm going in with a skin tint instead of a foundation because like I said, most of us are working from home now and you want something that is lightweight, fast and easy but at the same time really natural looking so you want to go for something like this, this is the Fenty Ease Drop. So I'm in the shade 6. I realise it's really nice to apply with your fingers and you don't need that much. So just a tiny little bit. I like to kind of work in sections. I just do one area like this. 
My skin has significantly improved so much after using the right skincare product, so I don't really need a lot of coverage anymore. Doesn't it look so natural? Concealer time. Now the trick to having really nice and bright look is to cover your dark eye circles but you don't want to load up too much product so I'm using a salmon color corrector and just only go in where you have the bags Now it's time for concealer. If you can, go for something like a serum type concealer that has more hydration. So this one is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Concealer and I'm using the shade Ivory. Same thing, you don't want to dot it right on your face. Put it in the back of your hand and use a brush. For powder, you want to set it with something that has a little bit of an illuminating finish and I have here Shantakai's HD Perfecting Loose Powder Face Powder. Of course, there are some other brands out there that you can try would be the Becca Illuminating Powder Setting Finish, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. You guys get the gist. And now I have my Tom Ford highlighter. I'm just gonna take this kind of shade, just a tiny bit. Now for your brows, I think this part is super important. You just wanna make sure that you're going with something nice and natural. You don't wanna go too crazy up or too straight or too thick or too thin. Frame your face the way you usually would. For me, my brows are super thick naturally. I'm just gonna fill them in, not going extra crazy with it, just define it a little bit and clean it up. So how's everyone coping with the new measures? Honestly speaking, I'm not doing super well with it, I feel. I wish I was a lot more productive. I'm trying my best to stay home but my work schedule has been greatly affected, unfortunately. So this one is the brow tint. I'm just tinting my brows. You know, I'm still able to do the things I love, which is talk about skincare and makeup and stuff in front of the camera with you guys. It's a little bit restricting when there's only two people allowed right now. Lah. I mean, as of today when I'm filming this video. The rules change so fast. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen like in a week's time or like, you know, in a month's time, whether or not it's still gonna go according to plan. Just keeping our fingers crossed and wishing that everyone will stay safe and stay home as much as we can, right? Now time for eyeshadow. Uh, I'm not gonna go anything too crazy and this time I'm gonna go with mostly matte colors. This is a very very beautiful eyeshadow palette. I feel like it's very underrated. It's from Roman. It's the Better Than Palette 02 in Mahogany Garden. Mostly browns. Very very similar to the nude shade that I'm wearing. This shade over here. That's pretty much it for the <laughs> eyeshadow. I'm not gonna go into anything too crazy. Bringing the color down, but taking a smaller brush. Taking a black brown gel liner. This one's from Gucci. It's the Stylo Contour in Chocolate. You guys can use any gel eyeliner if you want. You wanna line it all the way to the end of your eye and don't wing it out yet because we're gonna be using a liquid eyeliner. Dun dun! This is the Yuzu Eye Opening Liner. You wanna draw a slight wing upwards. I'm also gonna extend my double eyelid line by using it, my brow pencil all the way. Taking the lightest shade, you wanna just highlight your under eye. Time for the contour! 
Be Shading by Perpera. And I'm taking the lightest shade. Taking this Moonshot Blush in 302 Breeze Fig. So this is a very MLBB shade. So if you're going for a very youthful look, going for this kind of colors can't go wrong. So you want to avoid colors that are too brownish. You don't want to apply your blusher too much in a V motion. So you just do it really at the apples. So this helps to emphasize the apples of your cheeks. Time to draw some lower lashes. And now time for the lips. Very important to go in with something a little bit more plump looking because you don't want your lip lines to show. So I have here my Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Sunset Strip. Then I'll go in with my Unleashia Non-Sticky Dazzle Tint. 